Alright, so just here at a pretty cool, nice looking anchorage just around the corner from where we checked in. And just having a quick look at this autopilot to see if I can get it going or not, because we've still got quite a ways to get to Turkey. And it is not looking good. So it's going to be down and out until I can either get a new drive unit for the autopilot or I can try and fix it somehow, but I'm not too sure what to do with that yet. I'm still trying to get some information from the manufacturer, um, but that's not going to happen today. So anyway, this is an autopilot. It's, this is basically what drives. So this is the main unit, and this just connects to basically your steering, and it just moves your rudder with the steering wheels. So and what it allows me to do is I can just press a button on this keyboard, this keypad, and it will steer to the heading that I want it to do. So if I want to steer to a course of 200 degrees, then it will just steer to that, it will hold that course. So it allows me to not have to be physically at the helm. So I can move around, do sails, go get something to eat by myself. Or you can just single-handed sail that, uh, that way, it's really easy. We don't have that now, so we're gonna have to do, take, do manual steering the entire way, which not that bad, but it just means that the second person is always has to be around to go get you food or take over from you if you need to go to the toilet or something or if you need to change sails someone has to be here to help you do that because it's really hard to do that by yourself when you're trying to manually steer so that just is really hard when we've got two young kids two dogs a boat to look after but yeah we're just gonna have to do it because we've only got nine days in our Schengen visa today is one of those days so we're gonna lose today so we've basically got eight days to do 650 nautical miles so yeah, that basically works out that we gotta do 10 hours a day for each eight day period and to get to Turkey. So yeah, we're gonna try to do that during the other day, but it's gonna be a mission. But yeah, so we're gonna have to do it and make it happen. We will. <laughs> Luckily the next is it five days, we should have good winds and nice yeah. sunny days. So we won't be out here getting absolutely satched again. Because now all of our jackets are wet. Yeah, we're trying to dry them today. We haven't been able to find wet weather gear that fits. Everything's like extra large or something, or really, really small. So there's just no normal sizes. <laughs> and true. yeah, when we don't have the Abimi and it's freezing <laughs> cold still, and it, the weather's crap, it just, it, it's, t it's crap, <laughs> really. <laughs> to be outside in the beating rain, especially when it blows 40 knots and that rain is stinging your face. Yeah. It feels like it's hailing on your face. Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah, so the next five days, four days, we should have good weather. So we'll probably make as much ground as we can on those days and um, anchor up each night, depending on how far we get. Yeah. Another good news is that because it's turned into daylight savings time as well, the sun's not going down until about eight o'clock at night now. So we just get more more daylight hours to keep moving. Yeah, and it, it is beautiful sailing around here. So we're still super pumped to be doing this, yeah. even though it's getting a bit harder, but I mean, Life's it's still, hard. yeah, it's nice out. <laughs> and it, it's nice to be outside, even if it is blowing 40 knots and stinging your face when it's raining, yeah. it's still, you still feel pumped, so. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. this is sweet. <laughs> I found this rubber and I tied it onto this rope. And then I found this string from my bedroom and I tied it on. Now I am going to put it in the ocean to catch some fish. It's fish like worms, wriggly worms. Very cool. And as you can see, I am pulling it down and I am going to leave that for a little bit. Oh, looks great. Stairs some fish will bite onto my yummy fishing rod. I hope that's... so too. Maybe that could be dinner. Or breakfast. Or, or a snack. Mm. We're doing some beautiful downwind sailing. Going anywhere from 20 to 35 knots. With only, I don't know, a metre sea. So, we are hooking. Few boats around, but we're just basically trying to get to the bottom of the island. So, island is Corfu. Get to the bottom of it, find an anchorage, and have some dinner. As you can see, it's 26.8 knots at the moment. And just 
got the head sail up and yeah, very nice. for a journey to the bow. You can see what it looks like from there when you're under sail. It's got to go a bit steady. Well, I've only got one arm to hold on to things. Time to uh, make our way back whilst not falling over. Grab onto everything. Anything you can grab onto, grab onto. Damn some rules. <laughs> 10.3 knots we just done. Oh, loving it. Steering. Created this morning with some pegs, but uh, 
I refuse to buy another jacket because I want winter to be done. Bring on summer and the sunny weather. It is sunny. But it's chilly. Because it's still chilly. Very chilly. Yeah. Nearly wrapped up the first day of the 10 hour per day sessions. And we just had to mow the last sort of three or four hours because this storm sucked all of our wind out and it was running like two knots of wind. So just trying to basically beat it so we don't get wet because all of our gear is only just dried today. So we don't really want to get wet again and be freezing. So just around this headland is our anchorage and that'll be it for the night and then eat, sleep and probably repeat tomorrow. And time's up by eight and we'll we'll be there. So the depth is a hundred meters deep, but see how it's changed colour. It's, it's like a light blue now and then out there is that grey dark blue. We've never seen it like that before. Like change colour so much. Normally it'd be really shallow, hey. So normally for it to change colour that much. You're in like 10 metres of water or something like that and you can basically see the sand. That's why it goes this colour blue. But yeah, I'm in 100 and 45 metres of water, so you definitely can't see the uh, bottom, but it's just so fluorescent blue, it's really cool to see. It's amazing. Oh, a big ass moon. Let's see. Oh, I just want to see the big oh. <laughs> What did you say, Waves? Big half moon. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were copying your dad then. Big half moon? Where are you, big half moon? Mommy, I want to love the moon.
they're on the move again. It's, in, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning, been sailing for, I don't know, an hour or so. And there's just ships everywhere, or ferry ships anyway. Check this out. Gonna have to keep a look out today, I reckon. We were just sailing through 30 knot winds, doing eight knots through the water on quite a lean and now we've had to turn the motor on because the winds have died, we've got five knots and the seas are flat. So sails are flapping because there's nothing to keep them stable and hopefully we'll get some more wind soon. We've got a beautiful rainbow here behind me. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. 